I personally believe that if I give you a fish, it's not as beneficial as teaching you how to fish. Today's introduction is going to be on several videos that are related to C2C in doing graph GAN work. You know the pictures when doing corner to corner, that's what we're going to be discussing today. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly talk about it and then we're going to do a walkthrough of the pattern itself on screen and then I'm going to leave you to be able to fish. So we have a video on how to do corner to corner in the graph GAN format, reading the graphs, making the graphs, and also doing color changing and being able to do all of that. So that video has been around a long time and I used my friend Sarah from Repeat Cracker Me as an example to be able to do it with a teddy bear. That video is actually widely used and there's a lot of kudos on it and I think it's almost the standard when it comes to this. So what we have is over the years is Yarnspirations has presented as several patterns, like tons of patterns in C2C format. And the problem with the C2C format is that, you know, I could show you row by row and changing the colors on a particular pattern, but I find that people will say to me, you know, I wish you would have done a reindeer instead of a bear, or I wish you would have done a lighthouse instead of something else. And so for me as a tutorial host, it gets very difficult to be able to comply with those kind of requests because the fact is, is that once you understand how to do these graphs or even make these graphs, it's basically up to your own story of what you want to complete. So I'm going to refer to that video in the video description if you would like to access that because that is where you can learn to fish instead of just eating fish. And therefore, even on your inspirations, the crochet crowd, uh, repeat craft for me, for example, you can find these graphs and basically run to town if this is a concept that is in of interest to you. We are seeing more and more pop art when it comes to the corner to corner that you'll see here uh, on our selection. So in the more information of the video, not only is the video on learning how to do this concept also there, but you're going to see a whole whack of other patterns that are available where the graphs are already done for you. So that's really quite exciting. So without further ado, I'm going to talk specifically about the pattern that was showcased in the thumbnail and we're going to walk through each one of those and currently on my list I have 22 of those and so each one of those will be a different video and this is the same introduction for each. So what we have here is the Bernat Crochet C2C Big Star Blanket. So the star has been centered inside the blanket. You can see that they did two different examples of it like in the different colors that you have and you can even see the, the baby here. This is done in Bernat Blanket so it's nice and thick and soft and so let's take a look and let's download the pattern and take a peek. Again, this is C to C in regular format. The difference is, is that you're changing the color strategically. So they have the diagram on how C to C is done in crochet format, but they also provided the uh, diagram here in order for you to follow. So you'll start on this corner and you'll work your way back and forth. You can see that they have the main color and the contrasting color. So you're only technically playing with two different colors on this uh, concept in order to make it happen. So it's a really neat idea. It's a really super soft. It is kind of a showpiece when it comes to our baby nursery or something special, maybe for an heirloom for the future. And why not give a baby a big star? So this is the crochet, cro uh, sorry, this is the crochet uh, C2C big star blanket. 